attention for 30 seconds. Firstly, let's please get that giant what's it out. Um, If you could only speak one word today, what would you say? Smile. Hey guys, good morning. Bright and early. Last time I showed you guys the clock, it was six in the morning and it's now five minutes to eight. Five minutes to eight, it's a Saturday. I'm never, ever, ever awake before like 10.30 on the weekend. So waking up today at six, you know, it's not, it's not natural for me. I'm definitely not a morning person. This one is definitely a morning person, but I am not a, nor a morning person at all. So um, <laughs> I always make like such a stupid big deal out of having to get up early. Anyone else is just like, yeah, but me, I'm like, what? Six o'clock? It's the weekend. <laughs> like yesterday I was just like oh my god what is she doing to me but so I feel we're going to go Mickey Mouse pancakes so. yes but yes the reason we are up early today is because we are going to Primark and Kaya has never been to Primark in town before it's the biggest Primark in the world in the world it's like imagine that biggest Primark in the world in little old well it's not really little but in Birmingham so I went last weekend, I picked up a few bits, very unlike me, I never do shopping and I think I'm going to do a little Primark haul as well which I'll film at some point maybe next week or maybe in the week um, but Kaya wanted to go and have a look and are you buying anything? window shopping as they call it um, I'm not planning on buying anything but you know I'm just looking as well and if there's anything that is really grabbing my eye I might consider it because this is a new me um, a new me the new me <laughs> is uh, if I see something I really like in a shop like an item of clothing or whatever I'm gonna really try my hardest to not worry about money and try and like, just get it because um, I never buy clothes and then the result is that I never have clothes and then whenever I have somewhere to go I'm always like panicking and I sort of almost don't want to go because I don't have anything to wear. Oh my god, I've gone to the wrong place. Oh, are you, supposed to, are you supposed to go to the second exit? No, what should I do? Can I do a You can't do a U-turn there. You're going to have to go to the roundabout and then come back up. Oh, no! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the type of person that like I never buy clothes because I'm always like I don't have any money, you know, I need to save that 20 pounds for food shopping or bills and stuff like that. Which yes it's true, but then you know I think most people pick up an item of clothing every so often and I just don't like I just don't buy anything. So I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of that. So that is my new thing. It won't be my new thing next year though because I won't have a job. <laughs> Um, so this is only for like uh, the next few months. I just thought I would bring you with us for the day. I think this is going to be a day vlog. I'm going to try and make it a day vlog because I always film mammoth long documentaries and I need to try and like mix it up a bit. So <laughs> let's see if we can keep this to one day and under 20 minutes. Fingers crossed. Here we are. Biggest Primark in the world. It's raining. Oh, let's go into the shelter. <laughs> it was so funny, like, good morning, my little face. <laughs> There's just so many cute little cover-ups, <laughs> like cover-ups are my favourite things to wear on holidays and they're just so comfortable, like so many nice things, like look at all the lovely colours, bright colours, I love summer clothes, ah, oh, we need to go on holiday man, I know. we really need to go on holiday, so need to go. 
so many cute things. So yeah guys, if you come to Primark at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, this is what you would get. <laughs> There's still quite a lot of people. Actually, to, the to be fair, yeah, there is still quite a few people considering. For 8 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Men's, barbers, <laughs> coffee kiosks. Mm -hmm. So there's two cafes, three cafes. Ooh, Prime Market, I'm going to go there. Prime Market? I haven't been there either. I didn't. Did I go to Prime Market last No, I don't think I did last time. And then the Disney Cafe is at the top. So I think. Makeup section. Tons of nails. Oh my god. So many. One thing I can instantly tell coming into this Primark is that everything is so well laid out. Like usually Primark looks like a jumble sale, but everything is just so beautifully displayed. Yeah, lots of space. Yeah, it is so great. It's lovely. Absolutely lovely. Oh, that looks a little bit like the Fenty Bomb lip gloss. That's a bit similar, maybe it's a little deep. I still really need to try these foundations. Like, I've seen so many people rave about them. I've not tried them yet. I will do at some point. One of these days. <laughs> Boo! Oh my god, imagine if we had one of these at home. I know. One day. One day. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. Favorite color everywhere right now. All I see is pink. Yeah, there is a Barbie section. I didn't notice this last time I came, but there's a whole section just of Barbie things, which is, yeah, cool. Kaya said she would get the, um, what's it called, backpack. I said I would get the little pins to put on like bags or clothes. Wouldn't mind a scrunchie. And I would get this as a beach bag as well, because I think this is cute. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to go into the shoe section. I haven't been in the shoe section, you know. You? Nope. Oh. One thing I am absolutely loving, and it was one of the first things I noticed when I came here last week, is that the diversity is just so brilliant. Isn't it great? How yeah. much diversity there is. It's I love it. It's amazing. It's got a lot of clever people, yeah. all different colours, different hair types. Yeah, curvy it. people, skinny people, Pujabis. people with gaps in their teeth, yeah. people with freckles, people with afro hair, people with dark skin, people with light skin. So great. We're already noticing, all these are a bit like commas. We're already noticing they're starting to get a bit busy and we've only been in here for, what, 40 minutes or so? Yeah. And there's so. starting to be people now, so we're like, we've got oh to get a move on! Yeah, and it's going to get really busy because when I came last time, it was like everywhere you would move. It was like sardines. But we've got to go to the Disney cafe. Yeah. We'll have loads of time though. It does feel really nice to be here so early and not, not rushing and, you know, it's nice, it's very leisurely, it's very leisurely to be here at this time. These sunglasses. They're tinted. Oh, and I really like, last time I came, I tried on these denim shorts twice, because I went into the changing room twice, and each time I kept getting the wrong size. Like, you know when the hanger has a different size to the jeans? Um, but like, I find sizing, in most shops, but in Primark, I find the jeans to be really different. So like most of the time I would say I'm like a size 14, sometimes a 12, depends on the shop. But like a 14 was not fitting, so I think I'd have to try the 16 maybe. But yeah, I really like those shorts. I'm already thinking about pancakes. Me too, I'm really hungry. I haven't even had water this morning. Me too! <laughs> water is the first thing I have. Like, as soon as I get up, I down like a litre of water. But I haven't even had any water either. Okay! I'm just excited yeah, to I'm eat. Yeah, just excited to stay. And I'm really excited to have like a coffee and stuff as well. I didn't know that there was a Harry Potter section here. Hey. And we've just stepped into it and there's lots of Harry Potter bits. So this is really cute. What? 
a wand little outfit. Is it all one side? So yeah, we just went into the Disney bit and now we're just in the Harry Potter part. Slytherin, but I need to see a Hufflepuff one because that's the one that I am. Where? Oh, right. <laughs> I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to the vlog. <laughs> Oh, that is cute. Gryffindor. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. <laughs> In dreams we enter a world that's entirely our own. I really like that saying. Very true. Waiting for my letter from Hogwarts. <laughs> Love that. Oh, I can see some different houses for socks, but I need Hufflepuff. Ready? This is the Now for the most exciting part, Disney Cafe! Yes, we are here. Where we're about to go to now. Can't wait. I'm so gonna get some pancakes and so gonna get some coffee. So this is the menu. Oh yeah, Mickey shake pancakes. Two fifty. All right, I'll have some for two fifty. Bargain. All waffles. I'm getting. So it's the price that throws you then. No, I like it. Listen, I'm gluten intolerant, so I was like, if it's going to be a massive thing of pancakes, it's yeah. going to me it's up. It's not worth it. Since it's 250, yeah, it's going to be really small. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh my God, there's still a queue. Oh I came here last week and there was a massive queue, but I thought it was just because of the time and there's still a queue. This is like quite a long time. Ooh. Hiya, do you know how long the queue is? No, this in? is my first time doing this, so I'm not sure how long it takes, but it is quite a while. Do you think it's longer than 20 minutes or possibly? Cause it's quite early. What's the time? Yeah, know, that's what I'm it's like well. half 10. <laughs> we got here. Literally, it was just like at nine o'clock. It gets busy straight away. Apparently, it's quite cheap as well. Yeah, we saw the pancakes were like two pound yeah, fifty. Yeah, so we were like, oh, <laughs> we'll try those. Okay, we'll wait for a bit and then we'll see how it goes. Yeah. I think. See, give it twenty minutes or so. But. Oh. I feel like once you get past there, you'll be like I'm staying. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Once we start smelling the food, <laughs> once we smell it, we'll be like we're staying. <laughs> So we're in the Disney cafe, we managed to get in, the queue wasn't too horrendous, I think we were queuing for about 20 minutes, which was alright, and I have got the pancakes, Disney shaped, Kaya has got the waffle and pancake, and I also got a latte as well, so, and we've got chocolate sauce and maple syrup. Oh, I'm playing a game. What do I do? What do I do? I don't get it. Oh, is it all? We need to get that. Oh. Should June buy these shoes or not? I think yes, they're really nice. But we're both saying like, she's completely revolutionizing her style. <laughs> because <laughs> June used to hate mum jeans. And now she's got mum jeans. Yeah. She usually, well, you do like crop top sometimes, but you're I not a massive to, top feel, top. So I used to feel like really self conscious. Yeah. Like, whoa, whoa, now she's like this cool kid on the block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm so old. <laughs> cool kid on the block. <laughs> but yeah. Well, I really like these. I like them as well. And I think they're, how much are they? 14, 14 pounds. pounds. Yeah. I'm are they comfy? Are they comfy? They're comfy, yeah. They are comfy. They're really cute. I think I'm going to get them. Oh yeah, and also I forgot so, to yes. say, she used to say she hates chunky training this I like these. But she likes I these. Like these. <laughs> Who am I, Kaya? <laughs> She's <laughs> revolutionary. <laughs> what do you think's happened to me? Well, I don't know. Though, what do you think's happened to me? I don't know. I'm just feeling inspired like... by life. <laughs> so that's just travelled through into like, you know. Do you know what it cool. is? Do you know what it is? This is going to sound really cheesy, but it's because I'm happy. <laughs> it's 
sound really cheesy, but it's true. Because I'm feeling quite happy. I'm just like, yeah, I can wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I was thinking of putting vanilla syrup in it, but I've never tried that. And you want lots, you want it. You Actually, want I might just have vanilla syrup. And you want it scalding hot. But we're making coffees and we've never tried this. And it's been sitting in the cupboard for about four years. Mm. So we're wondering if it's going to taste I'm wondering well. how much to put in because I want it quite sweet. Mm. But. <laughs> <laughs> Mine then. Go on then. I'll be doing the same as you. One, one spoonful of sugar. Just a spoonful might have to put of sugar. Oh, that's all right. Oh. I wonder what yours is like. Mine's a good sweetness. I hope yours is. Oh yeah, that's lovely. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Go on, barista juice. Yeah, well <laughs> Thanks. This is post shopping. Uh, lunch. <laughs> We've got some chicken hex sausages, beans, some mash, you know, just a lovely hearty meal and we're about to watch a vlog. Joe and Diane mm -hmm. video as well. Which one? Joe and Diane please. Okay. Do you put yours in the microphone? No. It's alright. I could have done but... Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of In The Pan with Joe and Diane. In today's episode, uh, it's Joe versus Diane cook off. We've got this colourful spinning wheel. Now it's my go. I was cooking an orange. Yeah, but it's, you're cooking a meal. I don't know how far an orange is going to go. Without further ado, let's get on. Alright. Alright fam. What's up guys? Yeah, so yeah. All time we're just on the way to the cinema, isn't it? We tried to go see some film, yeah, at the other cinema. Oh, autofocus is cancelled, you know. What? Oh, I think it's, it takes sometimes, man. This camera, like, you know, when you pay money for something and it's like, like doing you dirty, you know? Like, why can't taking focus? liberties, isn't it? Yeah, the focus is so slow sometimes. I'm like, more time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. As I was saying, yeah, so we tried to go to the cinema, like this Lux one, yeah, it's got like reclining seats and leather. Uh-huh, yeah. White, White leather seats, you know. leather, you know. It's... A little table and thing. Guess what? This cinema's got 12 screens, you know, 12 screens. It's only showing Avengers all day. So anyway, we're going to a different cinema now. Oh, look at this man on a bike. Just nearly. Did you get him? <laughs> yeah. I'm a man's coat, you know. It's raining, it's raining, it's pouring. A man's on a bike at a roundabout, about to do a second exit. What are you doing? He hasn't even got a helmet on. I know. Bam! No protective Crazy. gear, no reflection. High visible. No, you're wearing a black hoodie. It's great, actually. Oh, uh, whatever. <laughs> I'm colour blind, isn't it? <laughs> don't see colour. How do I don't see colour? <laughs> One race. <laughs> <laughs> so guys it is quarter past 11 um when did we last see you i think we were in the car on the way to the cinema we did make it to see the film in time i thought we were gonna miss it because um like there was a massive queue to get into the cinema because of this avengers film there were queues everywhere left right and center we didn't even manage to get snacks in the cinema which i don't I have done that before actually, but I really did want snacks. I wanted to get, you know, classic Tango Ice Blast. The cinema was packed. Um, everyone was there to see Avengers, but even the film that we went to see Little, it was still really fully packed, which is strange because it's been out for a long time now. The film was great. The film was really funny. Um, like, it was such a feel good um comedy, really good laughs and they're good jokes. I did actually go to Primark last week and I got a few bits and today I just got the trainers and a t-shirt. Uh, so I am going to be doing a haul, a Primark haul, my first ever haul. Um, I've done like 
I think one makeup haul or something but I've never done a clothes haul so that's going to be exciting probably won't be on my channel before this because I think I'll put this up first look out for a Primark haul on my channel sometime soon <laughs> if it is already if I have already done it then I will like pop it at the end of this video as like a suggested video uh, by the way Kaya was also filming I think I mentioned that she's doing a um come to Primark like video with, where it's a bit more um you know artsy and a bit more polished yeah professional <laughs> um so i will link kaya's channel down below if you want to go and watch that you definitely should because um kaya is just hilarious she's obviously as you have seen has got such a bubbly personality she's got tons of energy and she is just so funny and sweet so i think you will really enjoy her vlogs and you will really enjoy her videos as well so go and check her out in the description box below. I have this really bad habit where, uh, because <laughs> I have a really bad habit of, um, it's funny actually, because there's this other YouTuber that I watch that I really love, her name's Megan Grubb, and she, whenever she says she's gonna end a video, a vlog, she always ends up taking like 10 minutes to end a vlog because she's just still talking, that is so me. I've been filming now for 12 minutes and 50 seconds and this was supposed to just be like a very quick intro intro a very quick outro to say thanks for watching goodbye um but it's just turned into me just you know just rambling but yeah i've missed vlogging i love vlogging so much me and kaya were talking about this today we were saying how vlogging is like such a great thing because it it's so good that you have these memories like it doesn't matter what they are like it doesn't have to be like you know big travel vlogs it doesn't have to be things where you're doing you know massive like where you're doing all these activities even just watching normal days in the live are just nice to look back on and um i was saying how like vlogging to me well it is it's like a diary isn't it like you're it's a diary of your life and i just find that so interesting to look back on like years later and um vlogging just makes me happy because you're able to like capture the moments that you have then and there but then we were also saying as well it's a double-edged sword because you can also um sort of sometimes be out of the moment because you're trying to get the moment but it's worth it so much most of the time like i really enjoy vlogging i'm rambling so much now anyway um thank you so so much for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this random vlog. Wherever you guys are in the world, I hope that you have a great morning, afternoon, evening, day, night, weekend, wherever you are. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.